Hello, welcome to the Wow or What the podcast where we praise a book and roast a book. Today, my guest is Mrs. Story, EHS librarian and reader extraordinaire. Mrs. Story is joining us for the What the part of our book review podcast. Mrs. Story, welcome. We're happy you're able to join us today. I'm so excited. All right. Now, you read a lot of young adult fiction, especially books that have been published recently. And I understand you just finished Into the Light, author Marco Shiro's most recent book. And we've got a picture on the, the, of the cover on the screen. It's interesting. We have two faces. It looks like some mushrooms. Now, we've all heard don't judge a book by its cover, but we're going to anyway. So what can you tell us just about the title and the cover? So the title of this book evokes religious cult or the movie Poltergeist when the medium was telling Carolyn, or was it Carrie Ann? I can't remember. Walk into the light. Walk into the light, Carolyn. There are also cults that use imagery of the atmosphere, like light and sun. In True Blood, it was Fellowship of the Sun. And there was a real cult that existed online called Twin Flames. So some of their names are after things in nature or the cosmos. So I'm hearing some religious imagery in the title. Are religion or cults going to be key themes in the book? Can confirm. All right. Interesting. But I'm not getting a religious vibe from the cover art. The cover is not that great, which matches the ending of this book. It is a silhouette of a person's head decorated with forest trees, or are those mushrooms? I don't know. Maybe the author had, never mind. And then some flowers. And then there's an additional in, uh, silhouette inside that one that's black, which I just realized is what I didn't like about the abomination of an ending. Oh, abomination. Uh, that's some strong language. Tell us how you really feel. Well, my thesis or theory for this book is use it for a doorstop. Or if you go camping and you need kindling, feel free to throw it on the fire. I know this author is a wonderful human being and has written other YA that has won awards and has a positive impact on LGBTQIA plus teens. I read his book, Anger is a Gift, and that was phenomenal. I have no idea what happened to him with this book. Was he having a bad day? Did he lose a bet? Did he get too carried away with a surprise ending? That is a popular technique. The, these days, the big reveal. Well, this big reveal was a big disappointment. Wah, wah. I was so involved and trusted this narrator for most of the story. Producer J.J. Abrams has a concept of for TV shows and movies that he produces, and that is the idea of the unopened box. Don't open the box. Always wonder what's in it. This author did an outstanding job for 95% of the book of making me wonder what was in the box. What happened to Manny? Why is he running away? And where is his sister? I was wondering that for 95% of the book and I couldn't put it down because I had to try and figure out what was going on. Manny, the main character, is a teenager who is on the lam having just escaped what we can infer is a nefarious organization, probably a cult, like the one that tries to, quote unquote, rehabilitate so-called, quote unquote, troubled teens, which can also mean gay teens. In this story, it is called, quote unquote, reconciliation. Manny already has trust issues from being in and out of foster homes. So when his sister joins a cult for the promise of a real, quote unquote, family, Manny is very wary at first, and after he escapes the cult, he is invited to join a family who is traveling, and they genuinely care for him and want to help him. But Manny does not know how to trust anyone and has the urge to run away. On page 189, he says, I should run away. I should leave this all behind. Lie, 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 lie. Do what you know, Manny. 
All right. So clearly Manny has some defense mechanisms he's built up. I'm thinking from this quote that there's some serious trauma here. Yes. And 95% of the story and the author's writing is a masterfully woven narrative of a person who has experienced many kinds of trauma and knows how to survive and seeks to move forward, but can't until they do more healing. For most of the story, I was drawn into Manny's conflict of interest and rooting for him to make it all the way. Go, Manny, go. This quote shows how Manny uses lying to himself and others in order to cope and survive one situation after another. So if 95% of the book was masterful, what happened? It sounded like you were really enjoying it. Unfortunately, I feel like I was lie, 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 lied to by the author. The alternating points of view are Manny and Eli. Well, hang on, wait. So we have two narrators for this book? I thought it was about Manny. I assumed Eli, the second narrator, was the name the cult people gave Manny after he joined and was quote unquote reconciled. Usually I love being surprised in a story, but not this time. The reason there are two different points of view and silhouettes on the cover um, was not satisfying. Um, it's revealed at the end of the story and it made me Taylor Swift break up mad. I know Met Gala reveals are in right now with storytelling, but Mr. Oshiro, you took it too far and I will never, ever, 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 ever get back together with this book. If anyone else reads this book and disagrees, I would love to hear your rebuttal. Bring it on. Okay, well, you're not going to get a rebuttal from me because uh, I actually read this book about a year and a half ago before it was published. And the whole Manny EY thing had me really confused when the big reveal happened. So I'm so happy that you read the book and you can confirm it wasn't just me. All right. Thanks for telling us all about this book, Mrs. Story. Once again, it's Into the Light by Mark Oshiro. And uh, it sounds like we can't recommend it, but perhaps our listeners would like to try Anger as a Gift as an alternative. We'll be back next time with more book reviews. Pitter-patter, time to skedatter.